Have you ever looked up at those giant power lines stretching across the countryside and wondered, why aluminum? Why not copper, the metal we all know as the gold standard for conducting electricity? After all, copper is used in nearly every home, powering everything from your phone charger to your fridge. It's reliable, efficient and known for its unbeatable conductivity. So why isn't it used for the massive cables carrying electricity across entire cities and states? The answer isn't just one thing, it's a mix of science, economics, history and some clever engineering. Let's explore how aluminum, a metal once considered second tier, ended up ruling the skies of modern power infrastructure. Copper versus aluminum, the basics. Copper is an incredible conductor of electricity, second only to silver among non-precious metals. That means electricity flows through copper with very little resistance, making it perfect for things like home wiring and electronics. Aluminum, on the other hand, isn't quite as conductive, only about 61% as effective as copper. But here's where it gets interesting. Aluminum is far lighter. In fact, it weighs about one third as much as copper. So when you're stringing up cables that stretch for miles and hang from towering poles, weight matters a lot. You can actually make aluminum wires thicker to carry the same amount of electricity as copper and still end up with something lighter overall. Cost versus performance. Let's talk about the financial side of things. Copper as a material is significantly more expensive. In fact, it's sometimes two to four times the price of aluminum, and that price can fluctuate quite a bit depending on the market conditions. When you're building a national grid spanning hundreds or even thousands of miles, that price difference multiplies exponentially. The initial investment alone can be a major deciding factor, and it's not just cheaper to buy the raw materials. Aluminum is also significantly cheaper to ship due to its lighter weight. It's easier to install, requiring less heavy machinery and puts less strain on the support structures that hold power lines up, reducing construction costs. That translates to savings across the board from the initial cost of materials and the reduced labor required for installation to lower long-term maintenance expenses. These savings add up over the lifespan of the power grid. Ultimately, it's not just about picking the absolute best conductor in a vacuum. It's about making the most practical and economically sound decision when you're building and maintaining power systems at a massive scale. But is aluminum strong enough for the job? That's a fair and important question to ask. Aluminum is undeniably softer and more pliable than copper, which could potentially be a problem when dealing with the harsh realities of the outdoors, like extreme wind, heavy ice accumulation or intense heat. But the good news is that power companies don't rely on pure, unadulterated aluminum. Instead, they use a specialized cable known as ACSR, Aluminum Conductor Steel Reinforced. ACSR cable is designed with a clever structure. The outer strands are made of aluminum which efficiently conducts electricity while a high-strength steel core runs right down the middle, providing exceptional tensile strength. This ingenious combination gives us the best of both worlds. The excellent conductivity and low weight of aluminum combined with the impressive toughness and resilience of steel. It can effectively handle severe storms, prevent excessive sagging and withstand significant temperature swings without succumbing to failure. A shift born from war. The transition from copper to aluminum in power transmission wasn't just a matter of technological advancement, it was a shift deeply rooted in historical circumstances. So when did aluminum definitively take over? Before World War II, copper reigned supreme. It dominated even the long distance power lines that crisscrossed continents, bringing electricity to burgeoning cities and rural communities alike. Copper was the undisputed king of conductivity. But wartime demand for copper skyrocketed to unprecedented levels. It was absolutely essential for weapons manufacturing, shipbuilding, the production of military vehicles, and the establishment of vital communication lines. Suddenly, there simply wasn't enough copper to satisfy every need. Civilian infrastructure projects began to face severe shortages that forced engineers and scientists to find a viable alternative. And aluminum, with its promising properties and relative abundance, stepped up to the challenge. Intensive research and development efforts were launched to explore its potential. Once it was rigorously tested and proven effective in real-world conditions, its long-term advantages became undeniably obvious. Aluminum offered a lighter weight and a more cost-effective solution for long-distance transmission. And even after the war ended, 
aluminum never relinquished its hard-won place in the power grid. Today, aluminum overwhelmingly dominates power transmission systems worldwide. What began as a temporary stopgap measure during a time of global conflict evolved into the new industry standard because, quite simply, it just made good economic and practical sense. Why homes still use copper? So, if aluminum is so advantageous for large-scale power lines, why do our homes still predominantly rely on copper wiring? It primarily comes down to safety considerations. Household wiring involves significantly shorter distances, but it also presents a higher degree of risk, including potential overheating, the danger of loose connections, and the effects of frequent wear and tear on electrical components. Copper's superior electrical conductivity and inherent heat resistance make it a much safer and more stable choice in these confined small-scale environments where electrical demands can fluctuate rapidly. Interestingly, aluminum did experience a period of relatively widespread use in residential homes during the 1960s and 1970s, particularly in the United States. But unfortunately, it led to a number of serious problems, including loose connections that increased resistance, dangerous electrical sparks, and even instances of house fires. A significant portion of these issues stemmed from poor compatibility between the aluminum wiring and the existing electrical hardware, as well as inadequate installation techniques. After that unfortunate chapter in electrical history, copper made a well-deserved comeback in residential applications, and it has remained the preferred choice ever since, ensuring greater safety and reliability for homeowners. The Road Ahead Looking forward, aluminum is only becoming more important in our rapidly evolving world. Its unique properties are perfectly suited to meet the growing demands of modern infrastructure. As we build out renewable energy grids, solar farms, wind turbines and other sustainable power sources, the need for efficient energy transmission becomes paramount, and with high voltage direct current lines, Aluminum's low cost and lightweight make it ideal for carrying electricity across long distances, minimizing energy loss along the way. Engineers are even developing newer aluminum alloys with improved strength and conductivity, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. These advanced materials are being tested in environments where traditional materials would be too heavy, too weak or too expensive, opening up new possibilities for innovation. In a future that runs on more energy from more places, aluminum is already leading the charge, literally powering our homes, businesses and communities. It's not always about best, it's about smart. In the end, power lines don't use aluminum because it's the absolute best conductor in every single aspect. They use it because it's the smartest choice overall, considering all the factors involved in building and maintaining a vast electrical grid. It's lighter, making installation easier and cheaper. It's cheaper to produce, saving valuable resources, and it's strong enough to withstand the elements and deliver reliable power. And in the world of infrastructure, where every mile, every dollar, and every ton matters, that combination wins, making aluminum the clear front runner. So the next time you see those metal giants stretching across the sky, silently humming with electricity, you'll know they're not just carrying power. They're carrying decades of smart decisions, carefully shaped by science, necessity and the lessons of history, all working together to keep the lights on. Thanks for watching Origin Stories. If there's another everyday mystery you want us to unravel, a hidden story behind something we all take for granted, drop it in the comments, we might feature it in the next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and stay curious so you don't miss out on our next exploration of the world around us.